Well, good morning. This is day number, I can't remember now, I've lost count. Um, but we are in the National, the Prescott National Forest. Um, tonight we stayed uh, at this, I don't know, cool little gravel rest stop with a view. Like you can see kind of all directions. Um, it's one of the things that I love about mountains is that it gives you a view. You can see where we're gonna be going. Um, but yeah, so we dealt with the starter issue. <clears throat> Seems to be perfectly fine now, starts every time. Um, we are going to head to, pardon my hairdo, the uh, wind likes to play games with my hair. Um, we're gonna be heading to San Diego. Um, Marilyn wants to get some beach time um, and um, I hear there's some lakes here that are okay, but uh, I don't know, it's just hard to beat uh, uh, an ocean sandy beach. So um, that's going to be the plan. Um, fingers crossed the car doesn't give us any more trouble. Um, and uh, yeah, so a beach for you. Yeah, well I'd be shame not to for this close. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's <laughs> right. We've got to go back to Yuma, um, which is only two and a half hours from San Diego anyways. So um, it really is only another tank of gas to go that direction and come back. Um, with gas prices being what they are, like that's kind of what dictates our whole trip. Um, but at the same time, it hasn't been too bad. For gas? Yeah. It's probably equivalent or similar to Edmonton prices. To what we pay at home, yeah. yeah. Plus, I really want some uh, some of the tacos from Mike's Taco Shop. In oh, Sandy. yeah, yeah, in Oceanside. Yeah, mm. so good. Uh, give, give me a quick tour of the van, though. Um, you can see here we have our bins. This was originally set up this way. So this kind of comes to here, the back is like a queen bed, width and length, um, other than that little notch that sticks out there for that. Um, but yeah, these bins have all of our gear in it. Um, this is sleeping stuff in here. Um, we have... And then this flips down over the bins when we want to sleep at night. Oh yes, yeah. Like that. Here, actually I'll go film it from this angle. So here's our heads at this end. You can see we have shoes stuff there. Um, I've got tools and the uh, other old starter in there so we can get it rebuilt. Um, and um, yeah, it's actually uh, quite spacious and roomy. That's the part that flips down. That's the part that's uncomfortable, but yeah, feet don't need much room. So there we go. And we can sit here on the bed and cook on the countertops. Sink used to be functional, but that was before we pulled everything out. We cannibalized this van for van 2.0, which is now sold. Um, so this one is a little bit uh, rudimentary, but um, but the bones are good. The bones are good. That's what we keep telling ourselves. Next question. Do you want coffee this morning? Oh, you might as well. Okay, I'm going to grab it out then. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> We had a proper kettle, but we don't, so this is what we do. I don't know, I just do it evenly between both. You have to really know how to jerk something, Eric. So I'm recording. Cream shaking. What? I said I'm recording. <laughs> 
<laughs> you won't even show the audio for this. Okay, you ready? Well, that was one really cool drive. I love mountains and I'll show you why. That section there, you can see up behind us, that's like a wall. There was probably about 3,000 feet of elevation change and you go down for a long ways. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see the road. I can't remember what, what it's between. I'm in Congress now and that's northeast, but um, I can't remember the name of the valley up there. Anyways, it's a phenomenal drive. Totally one worth doing. So yeah, that is a long way down. I really like drives like that because when you come off like around the corner, you can see how high you are and you can see for miles all the way across the entire valley. There's actually some cool mountains on the other side of this valley too, but I'm not sure we go that way. Um, reminds me of one in Squamish called Black Tusk. But um, anyways, onwards to San Diego. San Diego. Screw mountains, find our beaches. You didn't catch that anchors at all. Oh, Anchorman? Yeah. yeah. You're too busy in your own little squirrely brain. No, I just don't want to think of whale stuff. Mm. Yeah. Anyways, time to go. And look at that. Starter works like a charm. Well, we just arrived in LA on our way to San Diego. Uh, I didn't think uh, Teslas could crash, but uh, I guess you learn something every day. We're gonna visit a friend and then make our way to Oceanside or Solana Beach later tonight. We'll spend a few days in San Diego before we get back to Yuma. So I guess this is where we'll wrap this one up. Catch you on the other side.